What you guys got another video here for you on how to display the last sign in information during the user sign in process. So, as you go to sign into Windows, you get the last sign in information from the account and the date and time when that person signed into your computer. Now, this can be useful if you have multiple people uh, using the computer, you can find out when the last person signed in, and it's a good security feature to add to your PC. Now, I'll show you how to do this. On Windows 10 Pro and above and also on Windows 10 home if you only have a Windows 10 home system and you don't have group policy editor so I'll show you both ways and then you'll be able to uh, set this up on your system so go down to the search box and type GP edit to open up the group policy editor this is if you're on a Windows 10 Pro and above system this is the local group policy editor what we need to do here is go to computer configuration then administrative templates. Then from there, we want to go to Windows components. Open this up here. Just let me pull this down until we get to an area where it says uh, Windows log on options. Inside here, you're going to see uh, some options like display information about uh, previous logons during the login process. So basically, when that user signs in, it will leave that information on the splash screen now i'll show you what it looks like in a second so just enable this feature you can read all this information here and it explains exactly what is actually happening now this is for windows 10 pro and above uh, operating systems you can use the group policy editor to do this and if you're on windows 10 home i'll show you how to do it on windows 10 home so if you're on windows 10 home you want to go down to the search box here and you want to type in here reg edit this will open up the registry editor say yes to use account control and here we have our registry editor it's always good to back up your registry before you make any sort of changes uh, so i'll leave that to you you just need to go to computer and then file and then export and it will export all of the registry for you so let's continue uh, we're going to go h key local machine here then software open this up then go down to where it says microsoft open this up here I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so you can see it better come all the way down until you find where it says windows click on uh, the section which it says windows then go current version open this up and in inside here we're going to come down to where it says policies let me just go down to where it says policies here uh, there it is there so click on policies open this up here and we're looking for system now inside system, click on this system folder, right click, go new D word 32 bit value. And this will put a new D word 32 bit value in here. And what we need to do here is give it a name. So we're going to give this a name of display. And we want to do last, then log on, and then info. And then just basically put that as you see here. And then we can double click on this and this will open up the D word 32 bit value and we can add a, a value in here of one and then click OK and that's now set and that's how you can do it on Windows 10 home and Windows 10 Pro and any other version of Windows. So let's uh, restart the system and we'll see what happens when we restart and you'll be able to get that information posting up on the screen there which lets you know when the late last person signed into that computer. So we'll quickly restart the system here. And then once this restarts, we'll be able to see. So this is a great security feature if you've got uh, many different family members using the same computer or maybe in the workplace and you just want to find out if someone has logged on your PC. It will tell you the last time someone logged on to that PC and you would then have a record of it. So it's very useful. And as you can see here, during the login process, we've got the information logged here and we'll be able to see uh, when the person logged on, the date and time, and all the other information is listed there. Now, if I log into another account, uh, you'll see it'll also log that information as well. So let me just quickly log out of this one and log into another account here, and you'll see that it will also list that as well. So let me log into the admin account here, and there we go. We've got some more information up on the screen right here for the login time, date, and everything else uh, on that machine. So very, very useful and a good security feature to add to your PC.
Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to join our tech community, you can always join our Discord server. The link is in the video description. That is a place where you can post all your video requests or just have a chance to have a chat. I'll be on there pretty much most days I'm on there, so you've got a chance to have a chat and ask your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope to see you on the Discord server, and thanks again for your continued support. Bye for now.